Hello, my name is Drayson, and my name in drag is Sunny D. The D stands for Derek. You're a liar, and this is why Derek don't like you. Today I'm going to be ranking the runway looks from the ninth episode of Drag Race UK Season 4. Coming in at number five, Danny Beard. Now, the judges were living for this outfit and I can see how people would love this outfit. I mean, it's very Vivian Westwood, as people like to say, but I also feel like Vivian Westwood would not necessarily do this. That is not to shade how amazing Danny Beard has done and has looked in this whole competition. Just personally, I feel like this outfit was not stylized the best. I feel like it's got maybe too many things going on for it. I mean, it's got the tassels, it's got the ropes, it's got the several different patterns of tartan. It's got the different textures of materials. It's got a lot and I feel like the cape, although she loved it and she loved the message that was on the back, which of course it's a great message, I feel like the cape covers up her whole neck and makes her face just look floating inside a big box of blackness, which on the episode, the makeup was also, I feel like a little messy, which I would say adds to the punk aesthetic, but Still, I just feel like there was so many different things going on. Not everything was cohesive for me. And it's just my opinion. Danny Beard is amazing and the win was well deserved. I think watching her, she seemed the most comfortable on stage. And I think that's what added to her win. Number four, John Burr's Blonde. Now, I just want to say John Burr's continuously for the past, like, I don't know how many weeks, she impresses me so much and I feel like maybe I just discounted her, discounted? I don't know the word I'm looking for, but maybe I like wasn't seeing what she was seeing in herself in the beginning of the season and that's why I'm just so shocked and surprised about how much I love and I'm obsessed with her now. In the challenge, honestly, I thought she was the funniest, but I would say maybe she didn't win because Watching her, it was almost uncomfortable in a way that I wasn't expecting her to do well. And so I had like not in my stomach, like waiting for the editing or the judges to like make that face, you know, like she wasn't doing well. But honestly, she blew it out of the park for me. As for her runway, now it's not my favorite. I do love the materials she used. I love this like netting and the giant safety pin and I do love that her like fringe it looked like it was made of hair which is like super punk. Yes, not my favorite look but a good look nonetheless. The hair and makeup, let's not get into that. Number three, Cheddar Gorgeous. Now before I even start I just want to say I love John Burr's Blonde, but I am hashtag Team Cheddar Gorgeous for the win all the way. Okay, now let's start on the look. This, this, this is homophobic. This was honestly one of the best looks of the night. Now it's at the middle of my list because I feel like the two above it were maybe more grand, but I thought if anyone was going to show off real punk representation, like what my mind jumps to immediately when I think of the word or the category of punk, this is what I imagine. It's excellence, honestly. I absolutely love the hair. This color is incredible. She looks great. And the shorts, bitch, those are punk. All the studs, she looks amazing. And yes, rooting for Cheddar, loved her. In the challenge, I honestly loved the character she went with. I do think it was very drug out and it wasn't really set in the world of a roast, but she made me laugh a few times, honestly. So I think safe was well-deserved. At number two, Pixie Polite. Now the judges kind of read her for Phil for this, which let me point out the things that they said that I agree with. 
one, the silhouette was not the best. I feel like the placements of the like extra billowing fabric did not suit her body the best that it could have. But even with that said, I absolutely love this concept and I think she did a great job in general. I love that it was like a deconstructed Oh bad, I'm so bad at geography. Knowing what flag she's wearing. Union Jack, oh my God. I'm a genius, I have the mind of a mastermind. I love that it was a deconstructed Union Jack flag. All the studs and the spray paint and especially the hair, like the details like in the metal jewelry that she had in it. I thought she looked great and could Cheddar Gorgeous have had a better look? Possibly. I think this is one of those times where my personal opinion puts them higher on the list than maybe they deserve. In the challenge, I honestly think that this happens a lot where queens have this reputation or they build themselves up so high and the storyline, it just makes it for good TV when they fail, which was very unfortunate. Obviously, I wanted her to do well, but we saw what we saw. Love her though, wishing her the best. She did amazing. Top five is definitely an accolade to collect and be proud of. And at number one, Black Peppa. This is the only warrior punk goddess. She's ready to fight. She was ready to fight for her spot in the final four. She looks incredible. I would probably most likely wear Cheddar Gorgeous's look, but this one is what I would have striven, striven? Strived for. I loved it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know who you are rooting for to take the crown. Next week is our last episode of Drag Race UK and I will officially have done one full season of rankings and reviews and I just want to say I'm so proud of myself. Thank you to everyone who's been watching from the beginning or just now started watching if anyone actually watches this. I'm so appreciative of all of you and I hope to continue with this series and I hope to get you guys' love and support. Thank you. Mm.